both the units have approximately equal weightage. So there are some topics on which you can practice diagram. The first point is past five year question paper. Hello dear students, very warm welcome to you all in our today's video. In this video, I'm going to discuss the strategy for your board examination for subject physics. I will tell you what are the important points which you can keep in your mind while writing your board examination and what are the important topic which you should revise before going into the examination. So let's begin with the units and chapters included. As you can see here, there are two units. One is natural phenomena. This unit is of 12 marks. This unit included two chapters. One is reflection and refraction of light and the second is the human eye and the colorful world. After that, the next unit is effects of current. This unit is of 13 marks and this unit is also included two chapters. One is electricity and the second is magnetic effects of electric current. If we talk about the weightage, so you can see here, both the units have approximately equal weightage. 48% for natural phenomena and 52% for effects of current. So you have to give equal attention to both the units, right? After that, we should understand the paper pattern, right? So you can see here, this is your paper pattern. This paper pattern from sample paper, sample question paper 2023-24 uploaded by the CBSC right after that you can see here this is the general instruction which you will see on the first page of your paper and you have to read all the instructions carefully so we can see here there are 39 questions and all questions are compulsory there are five section if we talk about section a section a consists of 20 objective type question carrying one mark right after that section b Section B consists of six very short answer type questions carrying two marks each. Section C consists of seven short answer type question carrying three marks each. And Section D consists of three long answer type question carrying five marks each. After that, you can see here word range is already prescribed. So you have to write your answer in the given word range, right? And Section E. Section E consists of three source-based and case-based units, right? And I think you must have practiced so many questions based on case study, right students? So you will see case study type question in section E, right? After that, portion distribution. How can we revise physics effectively? So I am dividing physics in three categories. The first is numerical ability, second is diagrams and third is conceptual question. So you can revise whole physics in this category, right? So there are some topics which you should revise, right? So these topics are the first is Ohm's law. Okay, you should revise all the question based on the Ohm's law. Ohm's law is V is equal to IR. Then resistance formula, then combination of various resistances connected either in series or parallel combination. There are so many questions based on this topic. So you should practice. They can ask minimum one question based on series or parallel combination. Then heating effects of electric current, then electric power. You can see these all topics from electricity chapter. So you should revise numericals on all these topics from electricity. Then lens and mirror formula. This topic is from reflection and refraction of light. Okay. If you want to solve questions based on lens and mirror formula, you should know about the sign convention. Without sign convention, you cannot solve any question based on lens and mirror formula. Right. What is the sign for U, V and F? And then refractive index related questions are also important. Then correction of eye defects, right? Like myopia and hypermetropia related question, they can ask numericals from this topic, okay? Then practice diagrams, okay? So there are some topics on which you can practice diagram. The first is setup of an electric circuit, okay? I want to tell one point. If you are drawing diagram in your board examination, so try to use pencil. Okay, so in the electric circuit represents all the circuit components by the symbol and represent the correct direction of electric current. Okay, then Ohm's law circuit, 
this is given in our NCRT. You can refer for uh, diagrams our NCRT. Then VI characteristic curve, then magnetic field lines around a bar magnet and solenoid and magnetic field lines around straight conductor and circular loop. If you are drawing magnetic field line, let's say I'm taking a circular loop. Let's suppose in first case you are taking current is flowing in clockwise manner and you are drawing field line. Okay, then you should also represent the direction of current in which it is flowing in anti-clockwise manner and draw the direction. Okay, so you have to represent both the direction of electric current while drawing the magnetic field lines. Right students? And one more thing, activities. There are some activities given in our NCRT. Okay, for activities, you should refer NCRT and read all the activities. They can ask questions directly based on the activity. Okay, then domestic electric circuit diagram. This diagram is also given in your NCRT. So refer this diagram from the NCRT, then images formed by different mirrors and lens. This is the most important part. Okay, this one. This we call ray diagrams. While drawing ray diagram, what are the points which you can keep in your mind? The first thing is direction of ray. Okay, represent the correct direction of ray while ray incident on the mirror or on the lens and represent correct uh, direction when light ray is reflecting or refracting. Okay, represent all the parameters like pole, focus, center of curvature, all the things you have to represent in the ray diagram case. Okay, so revise all the ray diagrams. Then myopia, hypermetropia related diagrams. I think you must know you should draw th three diagrams. One is for normal eye, second is defective eye and the third is for correction. Okay, so these three diagram you have to draw if they ask questions based on myopia or hypermetropia. Then human eye and the last is rainbow formation. You should revise diagram based on the rainbow uh, rainbow formation. Okay, students, then the last category is conceptual question. Okay, so these are some topics which you can revise. The first is verification of Ohm's law, then factors on which resistance depends. Okay, then advantage of AC over DC. There are some points. This is theoretical question. Okay, and all the points are given in our Allen module and also in the NCRT. So you should revise advantage of AC over DC. Okay, and also revise the definition of AC and DC. Okay, then activities, as I told you, activities are important. Activities related to all the topics related to the electricity chapter, related to the magnetic effects of electric current. Okay, so activities are important. Revise, read activities again and again. Then only you can write activities in your board examination. Okay, then right hand thumb rule and Fleming's left hand rule. You must know uh, magnetic effects of electric current is theoretical chapter. Okay, some diagrams are there, activities are there and some rules are there. I must say, remember all the rules. Okay, they can directly ask question, uh, right Fleming's left hand rule, what is uh, right hand thumb rule. So they can directly ask question based on this. Okay, after that dispersion of white light through a glass prism. This is from the human eye and the colorful world. Atmospheric refraction effects okay atmospheric refraction definition and its effect so this is important okay like twinkling of star okay so you should revise these all topics then attempting physics what are the points which you can keep in your mind while attempting physics okay so i'm coming to the first point the first point is past five year question paper okay you should practice past five year question papers okay these question papers are available on the official website of cbsc that is cbscacademic.nic.in okay then in the end attempt sample paper okay issued by cbsc as mock test okay attempt all the uh, mock test and you have to set time you have to make that type of environment like you are giving your board examination so this practice will help you a lot right okay and the very important point is analysis okay if you are giving mock test so you should analyze after giving mock test okay what are the weak topics okay what are the strong topics if any topic is weak so revise that topic 
So next point is we should detect our weakness in various topic and discuss with your faculty, okay, if needed. Then as I told you, you should memorize all the rules and laws, okay. Then if you see any choice based question, so it's my suggestion, okay, although it's up to you, but it's my suggestion. If there is a choice between the theoretical question and the numerical, so attempt numerical if you know the complete solution. Okay, otherwise you should attempt theoretical question. Okay, so these are these all are the points which you should keep in your mind. After that, while writing the exam, what are the important points which you should keep in your mind? The first point is right answer depending on the marks distribution. Write according to the marks distribution, not according to your emotion. Sir, I know many things about this uh, question. I am writing all the things. No, you have to complete your paper in given time. So keep in your mind that point. Write answer according to the marks distribute next is do not stuck on a particular question let's suppose you cannot understand you cannot write answer at that time for a particular question so don't think like this i have to write i revise this question so i will write no okay this will waste your time so you have to skip that question and attempt next question and you should attempt that question at the last okay then keep an eye on the time and complete your paper in given time, okay? You have to attempt all the 39 questions, okay? Next is draw the diagram wherever required to explain the answer, okay? If any diagram is needed and if you have time, so you should draw diagram, okay? So these all are the points from my side which you should keep in your mind while giving the board examination. Hope you all will score very well in your board examination. Still, if you have any query or suggestion, feel free to reach out to us in comment box. For more, stay tuned and the last best of luck for your board examination. Thank you so much.